Hey everybody, uh, it's John. Uh, I've completed the rigid bot. It took me about two days, maybe six hours total of actual working time. It's a really simple build. I was really impressed. The, the instruction manual was very helpful and the online instructions were very, uh, very good. Some of the best I've ever seen for a 3D printer. And honestly, uh, everything I used to build it is in this box, mainly the hammer and like the M3 screwdriver. And this is just everything that was left over, all the scraps, as far as actual parts and tools. I would not recommend building it with the Allen key they give you, just because there's a lot of torque you have to put on many of these bolts, and uh, it's very, very tight. So I would recommend a T, a T handle, or a, at least a screwdriver, because that little Allen key is just not going to get it done. All right, but though what you see right now is actually my first print. I'm actually printing and this is from let me see if I can pull it up here We've got Cura up here, up here from Ultimaker it won't focus there it goes okay uh, Ultimaker makes a great slicing engine called Cura and I actually sent it to my USB drive this is the first printer I've ever had even the Delta bot which is meant to have off off computer printing that actually is doing it from my, without a computer uh, so very first print ever at 0.25 layer height draft quality that, it's so funny to say that. It used to be 0.25 used to be amazing. I remember 0.4 used to be standard with rep wrap, and now it's down to 2.5 as draft. But uh, it's looking really good. Uh, one critique would be the wire management. I, all the wires, I mean, the spare essentials, what you need, it's just that they're in the way of each other, all the way in the back corner there. Uh, for this print, when it started, a wire got in the way of the Z, way back there, in the way of the Z end stop. So it's just, it was just that much above it, but it still started off pretty good. And so the print is looking pretty good. I don't know how much closer I can get without burning my face, but it's looking really good. So, first prints are always fun, and uh, it's a great little machine. So, I'll do some more videos on it, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, there's been some reviews about the uh, nozzle leaking. So, and I guess the Rigid Bot designer is actually working on getting new nozzles for everybody. So, we'll see. That simple nozzle that he put together looks really good. It was easy to build, but we'll see if it works. Okay, so this is it. Check with you next time.